this is the Walrus Audio Voyager. Um, you may or may not recall, if you're following this channel, my review uh, a while back of the Walrus Audio Mayflower that I got first. Love it. And I loved it so much that I had to check out its little brother, I guess. Um, supposedly, this one is the lower g gain of the three Walrus Audio overdrive slash distortions, with the Mayflower being the more gainy one of it. However, I found that just with my amp, the uh, Supro Dual Tone, it um, behaves better if it's the second stage overdrive. I don't know if it's the voicing of it or, or what it is. It's just that for whatever reason, the gain crank tire on this one sounds better than the grain gain, grain, wow, uh, the gain crank tire on the Mayflower. So I like it thus far. I think it does a really good job of being my uh, my distortion right before my fuzz, um, in terms of where I layer or how I uh, structure my gains. So this one does a really good job of jumping. It's supposedly clon voiced in that it adds a little bit more mid-range and a little bit more dynamics to it but it's not a clon circuit so maybe voice similar but it's definitely not the same circuit it's so unique circuit and i think it's awesome so what do i got here i got a uh, fender jaguar um hh blacktop going into the voyager going into the supro in drop d so um let's talk about this thing it does have its own independent voicing as I already mentioned, and Walrus actually says one way you can use it as, as a preamp, an always-on preamp. So let's check out that setting. So that's with gain just barely on, so that way it's getting some gain. Um, tone at noon and then volume at noon. So real quick, this thing is definitely not transparent in any way. It has a mid-range to it. It's not designed to be transparent, but it can definitely add its own character as a, uh, as a preamp. I should probably let you hear my clean tone first. This is going to be, oh, I'll switch for, I'll switch to the neck. Neck pickup on uh, my Fender. here it's starting to get a little bit of the the girth and growl to it that you can get out of my amplifier and um yeah this does a little bit of that mid boost for you so you jump out of the mix a little bit more um for those of you who don't know if you use a mid frequency boosting overdrive you're going to naturally jump out to the human ear than if you use say a transparent overdrive or a, maybe a bass or a treble heavy overdrive it also depends on your band mix but typically in a generic band scenario that's going to be the case is that using a mid boosting overdrive helps you jump without adjusting your volume so um let's mess around with it a little bit let's get some rhythm rhythm sounds out of it that low E sh or that low D string. So yeah, that uh, it has a little bit more dynamics. It's not muddy, even though it is a mid-range boosting overdrive. It has clarity to it, and it has crisp, crispness, crunchiness. I don't know. Um, 
it has texture to it, and that's what's really nice about it. It's not just um, it's not mud. It it has harmonics uh, and overtones to it, which a lot of mid range mid ranging boosting overdrive pedals. I'm not going to name names is uh, is missing. So let's crank it all the way up. Let's go full distortion. This has been a demo of the Walrus Audio Voyager, my new favorite should be a first gain, but is a second gain overdrive. This has been Austin from Timberline Productions. Check it out for yourself. Thank you guys so much, and have a good day.